Congrats on your new F-170 purchase. Now we're gonna go through the steps of getting the machine out of the box and prepped for our first print. Go ahead and set the guide to the side and don't forget to refer to the start here manual for any questions during the setup process. Remove the styrofoam and set the cardboard insert which contains the ink and power cord to the side as well we need these later. With the machine out of the box, we will of course remove the plastic protection cover and all of the tape on the printer. Make sure you get all the tape from the front, the sides, the back, and most importantly, open the cover to remove the tape holding the print head in place. Now we will grab the inks we set aside. You will notice that they all have pull tabs so you can rip them open easily. Repeat this on all the inks. Don't forget the start here guide if you need any additional help. Now we'll shake each ink about 15 times before we initialize the printer. Remove the anti-spill cap and make sure that you put the proper ink in the proper tank. These inks are keyed, so if you're having to use force, make sure you have the right ink. There will be ink left in the bottles, which we can use after the initialization process to refill any used ink tanks. Once all four tanks are filled, we will plug in our machine and start the priming process. First, hold the power button down for three to five seconds to turn the machine on and select your preferred language. Since it's our first time to power on the machine, we will need to hold the question mark button for five seconds to take it into the initialization mode. This may take up to 14 minutes, so don't touch anything or open any covers during the process. Once this process is complete, we will follow the steps for the print head adjustments. At this point, we will load the paper into our printer. We strongly encourage Epson transfer paper as it has been formulated to work with these inks and you can take advantage of their rewards program. We will load the paper with the whiter, shinier side down and no more than 150 sheets at a time. First, we'll run a nozzle check to make sure our print head is firing properly. If you can see in the top left, we have no lines or breaks, which is a sign of a great nozzle check. Next, we'll perform a vertical alignment looking for the block that has the least streaks. In our case, number five looks the best. After this, we'll complete the horizontal nozzle check, selecting the number with the least overlap and distance. In our case, number seven here. With this complete, your machine is ready to connect to the computer for your first print. Congrats. Contact Imaging Spectrum if you have any questions.